if there's one question I get asked the most, it's probably this one. What is your preset? Now, I know this video is long overdue and I've been holding this off crazy. I mean, every video, even non-music related, has this comment and it's honestly insane. The support though is also crazy and I do appreciate that. So let me add that on there. It's not annoying to me or anything. This is something I've been needing to do for a very long time. Firstly, just a little disclaimer before I start this, almost all of the people watching my videos aren't subscribed. In the beginning of this year, I had a goal to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and I'm already halfway there. So if you guys help me get to that goal, I can drop more crazy content for you guys quicker and even more efficient. Just show me that, and that's motivation to me. So thank you guys. All right, here's step number one. First, let me tell you guys what mic I have. This is the mic right here, should pop up on screen. And no, I'm not saying this is the best mic to use or the best mic in the world, but it's sufficient. It, it works. It was in my price range, my budget, so I got it. And yes, I do record on BandLab for those wondering. I do have FL Studio, but that is a hassle. And you do need to learn it. Crazy. I just need someone to teach me. And I don't have the time, if we're being honest. Now, again, this is my mic. Not saying this is the mic you should have or a mic that you need. This is just the mic that I was comfortable with buying. Um... In general, you just want a mic and a pop filter because that's really all you need. Even recording off of headphones, any sort of pop filter will help your audio times a million. Um, also, you can't see it in camera. I don't think so. But I have like a control box over here that's hooked up to my mic that controls the gain and the volume. The gain is how much sound is picked up and the volume is just how much sound you want to hear. Kind of you just turn it up or down. Volume is a pretty general term, and the gain is more specific. It's just how much sound is picked up in your background. There's probably more to it. I'm not, you know, a genius in that side, but I do know a little bit. Also, when getting a mic, you would want a decent headset. Now, this right here is one that came with the mic. This all actually came as one bundle. It was the mic, the pop filter, the headset, and this little control box right here. Um, it all came as one, and I don't remember the exact price, but when I put it on screen, it should show you the exact price. These are sound canceling the second you put them on. Let me put them in the camera. Sound canceling the second you put them on and they work like a beauty. Um, it It is nothing else much to it. It's just a simple mic headset setup. All right, after step one, we get to step two. You need to get to your recording platform. For me, like I said before, I use BandLab, but other platforms are perfectly fine. You just have to take this and tweak it a bit or watch a video that's specific to your platform. For me today, I'm going to be doing BandLab. It's a platform I've been using for almost two years, and I kind of know the ins and out of it. So I would like to also teach you guys what I know. So get to your recording platform. I'm going to pull it up on screen and have it all figured out through editing and shit. And let's get this started. Now that I'm in BandLab, I'm going to show you all the effects that I put on my preset and kind of what they each do. Well, to what I know. Firstly, you're going to have a track laid down. Here, I have an example track kind of, and it's really just me saying random shit. Here, I'll play it. Random shit. But I'm going to show you and walk you through what each effect kind of does, you know? So when viewing your track, it allows you to go to your effects, which is this FX here. So what you do is just click that. And I have one already pre-made, which you can see here. This one I have is called Nice Voice. And what it does is really give you that studio pop. And whenever you add auto-tune, it really makes it hit. So that's why I like my preset specifically. So when we go in this preset, we can look at all of the things it provides in the preset. Mine, for example, DIGI Comp, which is just a compressor, a noise gate, a de an EQ3M, a delay, EQ and reverb. These are simple things that I believe almost every preset should have just to run, you know, that much smoother. So first here we have our compressor. And you know, this is pretty self-explanatory. It compresses the vocals. Um it makes it so that your vocals have a maximum. Um that being if I was to scream in this mic, it would capture the scream to a scale. You know, it kind of like it would make it to where it can only get this loud and if i pass a certain threshold it cuts it out and only makes it this loud so that's what a compressor does and like i said again if you want to know specifically what each does 
from a genius, which I'm not, you should go look for videos specifically like that. I can do a video breaking those all down, but that's for the future. Next, we have my noise gate. This is kind of like the gain that I explained earlier in this control set I have here. It kind of just allows certain noises to come through and certain to not come through. Well, at least from my knowledge. Like I said before, I'm not a genius. And then we have our de -esser. Now this is for those hard S sounds. And this is mandatory in presets. Because when you're talking to a mic and make those sounds, it sounds terrible without a de -esser as it's very sharp and very hurt it just, it just hurts the ears you know so a de -esser is basically mandatory whenever you're making a preset after our de -esser, we have our eq3m and honestly i don't know what the hell this does it helps the auto tune and every it just makes everything sound better and come together so i can't really give you much information on that then we have our delay this is also again self-explanatory it just delays the sound so if i was to yell in this it would repeat it multiple times and that is something you can tweak on here you can repeat the amount of times it repeats it you can also tweak how loud it is how long it lasts for and when it cuts off when it starts there's a lot that you can tweak on here and i can break that down for you in another video just let me know if you guys want that then we have our graphic eq3 this is in my opinion it helps you know distinguish certain levels of noise in in, in your audio like if I'm talking quiet, if I'm talking medium, if I'm talking loud, you can sharpen those. And again, I'm not a genius, but from what I've, you know, experimented with, it that's kind of what it tweaks. And then lastly, you have your studio reverb, which is kind of like, you know, delays the echo. And the reverb is kind of where the echo is coming from. Um, I don't know how to explain it perfectly. Like, a bathroom echo is different from a cave echo, you know? That's like kind of what reverb is. You can choose if you want a bathroom echo or a cave echo, and you can kind of tweak it to your liking. And that's what I found by, you know, tweaking it. And again, I'm not a genius, so I'm not fully sure what all of these do and how they truly work. But from my experience, this is what these have done. And again, you can scroll through this video and slow it down if you do want to see what each does specifically. And, you know, you want to kind of get a better look at it. But from my experience, once again, these are what these do. And if you want these exact, I will put a link in the description. So my my preset will be linked in the description. So you don't got to worry about typing all this in and doing all that work. But for those who do want to type all this in and do all the work here it is you know you can just slow the video down or pause it and that'll work and thank you guys so much for watching this video that'll bring the video to a conclusion that's the end of the video showing you guys my preset a process that was long overdue but it happened today um get this video 100 likes and thank you guys again for 500 subscribers i do appreciate it that is a milestone i was praying upon wishing 100 subscribers was something that i never thought possible but it was possible and again i'm not a youtuber i'm a music artist i don't know how to do this youtube sh so yes it could be 10 times better but the content is still there so that's really all that matters i love you guys truly please make sure to like and subscribe and you know spread the word about purple we need to get me mainstream that's that's the goal but that's something for me to you know practice and do better at with promotion and stuff like that i have some new music coming soon and i cannot wait for you mother suckers to hear it so let's get to it love you guys peace